Hey everyone, I'm Andy Tree with Forest NB, and yes, that is my real name. Our forests are amazing, and I'm really excited to explore them with you and share the stories of the passionate professionals who help manage them. Forestry is New Brunswick's oldest industry, and there's no doubt that our forests have changed a lot since we first started harvesting them. It's natural for the composition of plants and animals in a forest to change gradually over time. But unfortunately, those changes are happening faster and faster now because of climate change. As temperatures rise in our boreal and Acadian forests, those forests now face increased threats from wildfire, drought, and insects, just to name a few. Temperature changes also create favorable growing conditions for some species, while other species that are more adapted to colder weather may suffer. Our climate is changing faster than our forests can adapt to naturally, and that's why it's so crucial to help our forests become more resilient to climate change so that we can preserve them for generations to come. And that's why today I'm at the Kingsclear Tree Nursery, meeting with Francois. Francois is the executive director of the Atlantic Tree Improvement Council, or Atlantic for short. Atlantic has partnered with industry, government, and scientists from across the Atlantic provinces to promote tree improvement programs. Thank you so much for joining me, Francois. My pleasure, Andy. What is tree improvement? What does, what does that mean? Well, Andy, tree improvement is, is basically a combination of tree breeding and silviculture. Those two, those two disciplines together makes, makes up tree improvement. Now tree breeding, typically where selected parents are crossed with one another to create a, a set of offspring that contains the, the traits that is uh, uh, sought after. It can be uh, uh, resistance to pests and diseases, it can be uh, better adapted to environmental changes, but it's also typically uh, those traits that give you economic value, uh, uh, faster growth, uh, better adaptability to the environment, as well as wooden fiber properties if one has to look at it. The second part of tree improvement will be your silviculture. So you have the breeding work or the research work as, as they would say, but from there it gets uh, uh, utilized in a, in a commercial environment and that is where the silviculture part comes in. So if, if you do proper silviculture according to the, the minimum requirements to give each and every tree a chance to, to flourish in its own right, if you get that together with a, a tree breeding combined, you will, will uh, reap great benefits through tree improvement. So Francois, can you explain to me a little bit about how our forests are changing and what can we actually do to help them along? Yes, yeah, so definitely uh, everybody knows that uh, uh, the environment is, is in, in, in constant change. Uh, the climate is changing, it's, it's probably changing faster that, than what we would like it to happen. Uh, uh, and that means if your environment changes, the, the organisms that grows in the environment is going to, to be under different conditions than, than what they they used to and that'll be the same for trees so there's this there's this constant battle between the trees and threats in the environment that wants to to attack them and if the trees can't cope with the the change in the environment but the enemies are better adapted to the change in the environment then there's a threat to to our tree species the, the nice thing about tree improvement and the constant change in the environmental conditions that are, we find ourselves in is, is that what we want to achieve in tree improvement also allows us to, to improve the environmental conditions that we find ourselves in. Typically a faster growing tree which is ideal for, for uh, economic gains will also be your tree that takes up more carbon and that's exactly that we, that what we want take up more carbon, release more oxygen into our atmosphere and that is that is a win-win situation on both sides. What are some of the major challenges of tree improvement? I have to imagine things are difficult, you know, it's, it's not like you're growing a new crop every year. 
trees grow a lot slower than crops and, and agriculture. I have to imagine that's a big challenge. Absolutely. I mean, you've just you've mentioned one of the biggest challenges uh, is the time, the time factor involved. It's a long, long uh, 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 game. It's not a short-term gain and people have to understand that if you want to really reap the benefits of, of tree breeding and tree improvement, you have to be in it for, for the long game. So the investment into that, the foresight looking into the future is critical for tree improvement. So that is the one challenge. The other, other challenges, more of a biological uh, uh, nature, is trees will have a, a very short window of, of flowering. So where the opportunity exists to, to cross different individuals with one another that will most probably provide offspring. That, that is what, what we would want. Uh, so that is a te technical issue, but there are ways to get around it, pollen uh, uh, collection and storage, so that when with your flowering season arrives, you can take the pollen out of your, out of your, your storage facility and implement it and pollinate as fast as what you can. So Francois, our climate is changing, we are all agreed on that, and that must present some new challenges when it comes to tree growth and tree improvement. What, can, you, can you elaborate on some of those challenges or, or some of the, the differences or yes. difficulties? Yes, uh, uh, Andy, so typically you will have uh, uh, an environment where the trees grow, but there are also other organisms living there, insects, uh, uh, fungi, you name it. And uh, uh, if the conditions change in such a way that, that one of these components of that environment uh, finds it difficult to, to, to thrive, but the other, the other uh, for example, there's certain insects that just thrive very quickly and adapt very quickly, much quicker than the trees, then the threat to our trees becomes greater. So there's, there's, a, there's an increase in pests and diseases as the planet warms up and we've got to be very careful about that. Uh, we have to conserve our genetic diversity in our trees, uh, we've got to keep them healthy, we've got to keep them uh, uh, productive. So that is a, a constant, constant uh, uh, review, measure, observe and, and to make selections and decisions based on what we see on how uh, the trees uh, are, are adapted or not under changing environments. I just want to leave with some final thoughts. Um, what do you like about what you do? What's, uh, what gets you excited in tree improvement and, and why a career in forestry in the first place? Well, any, I mean, what's there not to like? Uh, <laughs> we're out in the open. Uh, it, is, it is absolutely a, a beautiful work environment. Uh, you get to work with people as well, which is really interesting. Uh, uh, there's there's a, a lot of questions that needs answers, which is exciting. And it is great to find solutions to these questions. Uh, it is great to, to be able to partner with, with uh, operational uh, uh, partners, people that, that, that grow trees for a specific reason, including conservation, and uh, uh, to find solutions for what they want, knowing that we also conserve our uh, genetic diversity is absolutely fantastic and uh, uh, yeah, Nothing better than tree improvement. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Francois. My pleasure, my pleasure, Andy. Our forests are vital, and they play a major nature-based role in our adaptation to climate change and our transition to a low-carbon economy. Thank you for your interest in forestry in New Brunswick. For more information, consider visiting forestnb.com to learn more about sustainable forestry in the province.